Today's lesson is about how to use calculator to deal with conic section. So first of all, you know, we go to add. Then you need to find conic section this time. My calculator that's a 8, so I put enter. So you could see that we have circle, ellipse, hyperbola, and parabola. Now let's explore each conic section. For the circle, I will select one, I put the enter. Then you can put in, choose like for the number one, that's a standard form, or you go to number two, that's a general form. So let's go to number two. So let's put the a equals 1. Then for the B, let's do the 2. For the C, let's do the 10. And then for the D, let's just do the negative 5. So I put graph. So you got the graph. For this conic section, you using Y equals to escape from that screen. So did you see that it's a E as C means escape button? That's Y equals for conic section. So I using Y equals go back to the circle we put in A, B, C, D. Then you will do alpha enter because that's the solution, you know, that's the solve. So we use alpha enter means solve for this circle they give you answer the center and the radiance directly so i still use vehicles let's explore the ellipse so i put enter for the ellipse only apply that standard form so let's do the number one so for the number one, I have A, let's do nine. And for the B, let's do the four. HK, you know, it doesn't matter. So let's just use negative one and negative five. Then I still put the graph. So they will draw this ellipse for you. Then using Y equals to quit. And then you do alpha, enter to solve. They give you center, they give you focus for ellipse. Let's explore hyperbola this time. So still I using Y equals, go back. Then I choose three. That's ellipse. Yeah, let's go to number two. Then we put in like five, and here it's a six, then H, let's do two. So I still draw graph. Yeah, they draw this uh, hyperbola for you. Then we use vehicles go back, and we want the calculator solve for us. So we do alpha, enter. They, they give you center, give you vertex, focus, and then the slope of those uh, asymptote lines. Now let's explore parabola. So I go to parabola. We put enter. You'll find that standard form for the parabola is different from what we learn in our class. In our class, that's the standard form we use. Then 
y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. That's the standard form we use in our class. But basically, it's the same thing. And we use our pattern to figure out the a, then we plug in to find the p so that we can put it into calculator. Basically, it's the same thing. For example, I have x equals negative 2y plus 2 squared plus 1. So we know that a equals negative 2. And then the p we plug in here. So you will get 4 times negative 2 is a negative 8. Then it's 1 over 8. Then we know that's a horizontal parabola. So I put enter and the h will be 1. Yeah, the k is negative 2 and a p will be 1 divided by 8. So we draw the graph. Then we use y equals go back. We want to get the vertex and the focus and directrix. So that's why we do alpha, enter. Yeah, we can get an answer. Now let me teach you another way to put conic section into calculator. That's uh, y equals. So since we want to go to y equals to plug in, we need y equals form for the circle. Yeah, let me go to this circle now. I have x plus 5 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 16. And for this form, we need to solve for y. So I subtract x plus 5 squared both sides. And then I do square root. Don't forget plus or minus here. And then you get y minus 2 equals plus or minus square root of 16 minus x plus 5 squared. Then I add it to both sides. That's the one we got. So we go to the calculator we put in. First of all, that's 2 plus second x squared 16 minus x plus 5 squared. Then go to y2. I have 2 minus second x squared 16 minus x plus 5 squared. Okay, then I go to graph. Yeah, that's our circle. You know, it looks like ellipse because the window is not um, like a square window. That's the reason. But that's our circle. Now let's do one more example. Here is a hyperbola. So we need to solve for y. I move y plus 3 squared over 9, the other side, and then 1 to the left side. So we got this part this over here. And uh, then I need to do square to both sides. Make sure plus or minus sign to the x part. Then we multiply by 3, both sides. and uh, I will get plus or minus 3 times square root of x minus 5 square over 4 minus 1. Then for the right side, I got the y plus 3. And then you know that it's a u minus 3 both sides. Then here's the one we get for y. So we plug that in. Your y1, it will be negative 3 plus. Then we have square root. 
No, we have like that is three three times. Then square root. We have fraction, so let me do alpha y equals. Enter. We need a fraction now. So I have parentheses x minus five squared. Then over four. Then you minus one. Okay, so y2 will be negative 3 minus 3 times. And second x squared. Still we need fraction, so alpha y equals enter. So parentheses x minus 5 squared over 4. Then minus one. Okay, so we draw the graph this time. Yeah, that's the graph. <laughs>